Hey guys, it's Bridget. Today we're gonna be making a candle holder. I love having candles all around my room. So today we're gonna use Tinkercad to make a really simple geometric candle holder. Let's get started. Step one, creating the base. To create the base of the candlestick, drag the torus shape onto the workspace. Next, resize the shape and make the diameter 50 millimeters. To keep the aspect ratio, press the shift key while you resize the torus. Then, drag the cylinder onto the workspace and combine it with the torus. Fill the center space of the torus with the cylinder and align them and finally group the shapes together. Now you have created the base. Step two, creating the body. To create the body of the candlestick holder, use another cylinder shape and set it to a 15 millimeter diameter and an 80 millimeter height. Next, align it with the base and group the shapes together. Step three, creating the hole for the candle. To create the hole for the candle, use another cylinder and set it to a 12 millimeter diameter and 30 millimeter height. And using the align tool, we align it with the body, then we group it together with the body. Step four, creating the design of the body. To spice up your candlestick holder, we can add a few designs to the main body. First, start with a sphere shape from the geometric library and shrink it to 20 millimeters height. Then, align it with the body using the align tool in the top menu. Next, group the elements together. Then, grab a square and stack it on top of the sphere that you just grouped with the body. Follow the same procedure, grouping the body with the square. Finally, grab another two spheres and stack them on top of the square. Make sure to align all the shapes using the align tool on the body of the candlestick holder. Step five, creating the top of the holder. Finally, grab a cylinder and drag it to the top of the candle holder. Shrink it down so it has a very small height of about three millimeters, and then make it wider than the body of the holder so it can catch the wax if it falls once you put your candle in the candlestick. Remember, Group all the elements together once you're finished so you have one complete object. Congratulations, you just made a candlestick holder. Thanks for taking my class today, guys. Now you can have candles all around your room with your own personal candle holder. Make sure to upload your file to kirakira.com so you can easily print your new design. Thanks again, guys, and see you next time.